So HSS is something similar to the functionality of HLR. HLR, which is referred as Home Location Register, which was typically a subscriber database in the home network. However, at that time, the databases were based on some kind of register and they used to be very big in size. As, the, as we grow with the networks, we need to have more and more users in the network and we need to have some kind of server-based architecture and that's where we get some new nodes called as HSS, which is referred as Home Subscriber Server. Typically, MME interacts with HSS over an interface which is called as S6A interface and the typical protocol what we use on this interface is called as diameter. Diameter is also referred as AAA protocol where AAA means authentication, authorization and accounting. So typically AAA functionality means taking care of authentication, authorization and accounting and typically this thing is taken care by HSS and with the help of HSS MME does the execution, MME does the execution for the authentication of the end user. However, in some later series of videos we are going to talk about how the authentication happens in the 4G networks. Right. So typically HSS is a, data, is a central database which is going to have all the subscriber profile and it sends some relevant information to the MME about the user and based on, the, based on that information, MMEs are going to authenticate the end user. So that is typically called as authentication procedure, right? So HSS, okay, just to summarize, HSS will always be in your home network. So what is a home network for a user? Home network is the network for the user from where you have bought your SIM card. So if you have bought your SIM card from a particular operator in a particular country or particular state, you typically have HSS or HLR belonging to that particular operator. However, you can use eNodeB, you can use MME, SGW and PGW from your home network and also from some roaming network if your home network operator have some roaming agreement with other operator. So just to keep it short, just to uh, uh, putting a, a, a quick remark here, HSS always belongs to your home network, will always reside in your home network. All other components of the network may be from the home network or maybe from some other networks which are visited network as well. So that's all what we have in this video. I will see you in the 